Hello everyone, welcome back on Nestimo channel. Guys, I am Ramgir Singh, Unity Game Developer, YouTuber and Blogger. So guys, in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about that how scale with screen size work and what is the use of it because uh, nowadays there are variety of the mobile devices, resolution is different. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn that how it will work in most of devices. There is not a standard or set of rule that you will do and you will achieve your ui scaling all devices but yeah uh, this will help you to achieve at least 80 to 90 percent so let's uh, move in the tutorial so just i have a test scene and i have not taken anything so just let me take a image and now we have a canvas so now you can see that image is here uh, when we are just changing the resolution from here so let's suppose it is on the free so you can see that where it is it is out of the canvas so if we just change pc so it is also not uh, visible 69 it is also not visible free expert is not visible 1600 19 is not visible so now you can see that image is here and what is it is it is in middle center so if you change the anchor from here so it will also make a lot impact like let's suppose i'm just doing the bottom so what it considered that it measure the distance from the corner so i'm saying that bottom left so it will just always measure from here so whenever we will go on another resolution so you can see that it's measuring from here but what's happening is that it's just getting bigger and bigger on different resolution you can see that it's looking like webgl on this 1080 like this so what's happening is now is that its size is just increasing and decreasing it's just measuring here and at least it is available in our canvas so how we can achieve that uh, it's uh, just size changes on different re resolution on the same so just what i'm going to do is that it is canvas on canvas here is canvas scalar so now it is constant pixel size so just change to scale with screen size and place whenever you want to place like let's suppose i am placing it i am placing it here okay so whenever i am changing here scale with screen size and you can pass any reference so what i pass so you can pass uh, uh, just uh, you can pass any reference like you can pass like oh, on 1920 to 1080 if, if it is in landscape but what i have noticed that most of devices come in reference to 20 2340 and here you can see screen mod match so you can expand and shrink but what we are going to do is that whenever our screen resolution will change so what will be the basis if it is zero so it will be changed on the only width and if it is one so it will change on the basis of height so what we want we want height and width should be changed at a one time means uh, proportionally so now i have have reference 0.5 and whenever i will change here resolution so you can see that the box size the image size should, should be always same so this is the way that you can just uh, apply here and you can pass the references as well as your anchor points means you can make the anchors like bottom top middle stretch but I, I want to tell you one more thing that is a very important thing like let's suppose I'm taking UI elements like raw image so I'm just going to tell you that how how our yeah, custom anchors works let's suppose I'm just passing here and giving it 300 300 and uh, if I want to custom anchors custom anchors play a very important role so when you work on the complex UI element so mostly it work your unity also but if you want to customize the things and your ui is not working on the unity on unity anchoring so just what you can you do is that you can just put your custom anchoring like whenever it is complex ui uh, you are working on so you can just push the custom anchors and it will also consider same in all resolutions like we are going on the webgl we are going on the 1619 so everywhere you will get same so this is also you should know that what is the custom anchoring custom anchoring just you can click here on the hand tool and then you can just uh, do your custom anchoring so this is 
all about that how it works and you can also go on the unity sites this is the all they have mentioned here but uh, they have not mentioned one thing that is the custom anchoring so i have said about the custom anchoring and all the things i have shared whatever they have mentioned on the their sites so thanks for watching have a good day see you in next tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and share and let me know in the comment that how it's working in your site and if you want to tell me something about it so just mention in the comment and thanks for watching